those who do not know yet, on July 16th, John Lord, a famous English pianist and a renowned Hammond organ player, died sadly of a pulmonary embolism after a year-long struggle with pancreatic cancer. Now, for those who do not know who John Lord is, he was a member of the bands White Snake, Ashton and Lord, The Flowerpot Men, The Artwoods, and probably most notably, Deep Purple. He will be remembered for such notable songs that he wrote on Deep Purple, such as Smoke on the Water, Highway Star, Space Truckin', and probably the most notable of all, Child in Time. Now, being as someone who in the very first vinyls that he ever owned had Machine Ahead and Deep Purple and Rock, I was really sad to hear that John Lord died, especially since one of the first few songs I ever learned how to play on the piano was Smoke on the Water. It is truly a shame that we had to lose him. He will be greatly missed, and he will also go down as probably one of the best pianists and Hammond organ players of all time. Now, I bet you wonder, why am I telling you all of this? Well, this is the reason why. Andrew the Soldier Hog. Yes, I know. Youngblood's already made a video on him. I'm sure other people made videos on him. So you could say I'm following a bandwagon. I honestly don't care. Because I'm doing a special video on him that I don't think anyone else has done. Because as soon as he posted this video, he took it down. So yes, I have a very rare video to show you. Where basically, Andrew exploits the death of John Lord. Oh yeah. I said exploit. Now, even though this video is under 30 seconds long, I still felt like that this video deserved a commentary. Yeah, because it's that bad. God damn it, John Lord died of cancer. Okay, okay, wait, wait, stop, 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 stop. Why the hell are you using Speakonia? Listen, Andrew the Soldier Hog, I know that your voice is a little bit hard to understand sometimes, but I'd rather listen to that than this god-awful program. Speakonia is so, so horrible to use. Plus, because you're not using your real voice, it makes this message just seem a lot more exploitive. I mean, you're not even going to use your own voice. Instead, you're just going to cop out to using Speakonia. Way to put emotion into that, Andrew. Also, ugh, I'm gonna make my Rika look like he's crying so it shows how deep and emotional I am and how I really care about this issue. Yeah, no one's buying this shit! You're just doing this for attention. Get real. I can't believe that word happened to him. Why cancer? Why did you do that? Because pancreatic cancer is a person. It's not a malignant growth in the pancreas of where cells grow in uncontrolled proliferation where it's often rapid and is also caused by many factors like cirrhosis of the liver, chronic pancreatitis, occupational exposure to certain pesticides, dyes or chemicals, diabetes, cigarette smoking, excessive coffee drinking, or hereditary. Personifying a malignant neoplasm and even telling your video, damn it, John Lord died, where you just get mad instead of just showing sympathy doesn't show sympathy. It just kind of shows that you really don't care about what this happens and you're going to make it somehow about yourself. And I know this with the next statement that he says. I don't want my friends to get cancer right now. I will get upset. Thantosk! What did I just say? This video was never about John Lord. This video was just an excuse so you could be emo on the internet. I bet if I asked you a day before he died who John Lord is, you have no fucking clue who he was. That's what attention whores do. They take an event that has nothing to do with them at all and makes it about themselves. You're despicable for doing that. Truly, you are despicable. And if this video was truly about John Lord, as you so claim, then why the hell bring up about your friends? That is irrelevant to this video. Irrelevant. If my friends have cancer, I lose a friend. Don't you mean if they die of cancer? Because you can get cancer and survive. There are lots of cancer survivors. Or what? Are you going to be one of those people, as soon as your friend gets cancer, you're not going to regard them as a friend anymore and you're just going to ditch them? If so... That's a horrible thing to do! What the hell's wrong with you? Nevertheless, great job making this video about yourself. Again. Although that doesn't really surprise me that you would. So to my friends, watch out for cancer! Yes everyone, join the Neighborhood Watch so we can keep cancer away from our children and loved ones. Seriously, Andrew? Well, at 21 seconds we finish this video and it leaves a bitter taste in my mouth. Do you know who Andrew reminds me a lot about? Kex Andy. Yeah, remember Kex Andy? I did a dramatic reading on one of his gospel stories with ZM Anonymous in Youngblood. They share so many traits in common. Think about it. 
He acts lonely, he's emotional, has horrible grammar, he's an attention whore, a very bad recolor, and he gets easily butthurt. Just add in the fat for fetish and the super obsession to Vector, and he's a direct clone of Kexandi. Now, even though Andrew deleted this video, I still want to do a commentary on it because one, I was lucky enough to save it, and two, I want to bring up this great quote that I think sums up the internet really well in certain ways. The internet is forever, and what that means is, is that anything you post on the internet, believe me, it will stay there forever. You you think that deleting it will get rid of it on the internet? Please. There are ways to get around that. So there is no true way that anything can be gone from the internet completely. There will always be a way to get it back. Now, Andrew probably deleted this video because of negative attention, but the real reason he probably should have deleted it because this was extreme exploitation. You do not care that John Lord died. This video was about you, Andrew. It was not about John Lord. How dare you take someone else's death, someone you probably didn't even know before that you saw that he died, and made it about yourself. So here's my advice to you, Andrew. Don't ever pull a stunt like this again. And if you really want to be a better commentator, whining and bitching about it is not the way to do it. You do so by actions. You improve yourself. You do commentaries and make them better and better and better. If you truly want advice, the, making these butthurt videos is not the way to do it. Message someone a PM. Message me or Youngblood. Just say, hey, what is something I could do about doing a better commentary? And if you get criticism, listen to it. Do not get so butthurt over it and start crying and whining about it. Well, I think I'm just going to leave it where it lies right now. I've said all I want to say. So until next time, this is Mr. Sharaven saying bless.